Hi, this is Richard here from Funfit Adventure. Thought we'd uh, give you a little review of our dual car hot tap shower system. We've just been mountain biking this morning, so we're really keen to get in the shower. So it's a good opportunity to get it set up and, uh, and give it a go. So I'll show you what's in the bag. The bag's actually, um, we paid for the bag as an extra from dual car when we bought it. Um, I don't think it comes with a bag, but you can, you can add that on. So inside we've got the, the shower unit, the dual car hot tap. There it is. We've got the shower hose. There. We've got the gas attachment, head onto the gas bottle. The shower rose head. And a couple of little, um, little hooks that I got from Bunnings just so we can clip it onto the trailer. So let's, uh, let's set it up and see how it goes. So I just used the clips on the, uh, on the door of the trailer here. The little toolbox on the side. Hang the shower unit. There we go. And then we've got, um, on the bottom of the, the shower unit here, we've got, we've got three connectors. We've got the, the gas connector on the left here. Then we've got the hot water outlet. And then we've got the cooled water inlet. So we'll connect those up now. Gas bottle, simple screw in hand tighten fitting on the regulator. Tighten that up. And then this comes with a um, dual car, I've got a, a quick gas connect adapter. So we, uh, we got one of them from dual car, just makes things so much easier to pop it on. That's the gas on there now. And this is the hot water outlet. Pop that in on the middle one. Screw the rose on, shower heads. And then what you also need is um, your own connector for your water supply. And you could run this off a mains water supply. Um, I'm actually running it off a 12 volt pump unit in the side of the trailer. So open this up. I've got an outlet on my pump here. Pop that on. Into the cooled water outlet. Turn the gas on. Turn the water on. Oh. Let's try that again. Listen to put it on properly. Pop that on again. So, essentially what we've got on the front of the shower unit We've got a, um, a water pressure gauge, the blue dial, and um, when I'm powering this from the uh, the trailer water supply, I turn that down as low as possible, um, try not to use too much water. And then the red um, the red dial adjusts the temperature. You can see I put a little black line on the on the shower unit because that's typically where we need it to have a, a decent uh, a decent hot shower. And you can see you've got quite a lot to play with to turn up the heat um, to the top there. So I'll set it there, and then once you're in the shower, all it is this is the uh, this is a new shower head that's come from Dual Car. The original shower head had an on and off button, but it's really stiff to um, to get it on while you're in the shower. This one's really simple. All you do is twist the shower head like that. Shower unit's ignited. You can see the temperature on the on the front there, and out it comes. And you can adjust you can adjust the rose head. And you'll see if I change the water pressure, you can see I can get quite a lot of power out of that out of that shower. I can turn the turn the pressure down. Then literally we just spin the rose head and turns the shower off. Simple as that. 
So um, we've been using this for the last 12 months or so and um, used it all over the place pretty much all the time from the trailer. We've never used it on mains water. We've got two 80 litre tanks under the trailer and we pretty much keep a, an 80 litre tank for shower water. Another little handy, uh, handy gadget that we use is just a, a little hose link uh, water monitor from Bunnings, a few dollars from Bunnings and it, uh, it counts how many litres you actually use from your tank so we can measure how much uh, how much water we're using in the shower and um, you know typically we tend to have about uh, about five litres or so in a, um, in a shower so that's pretty handy and um, we've only had really one problem with it and um, there was a problem with the circuit board just literally two weeks ago and uh, in front of dual car um, straight away they said send it back to us and uh, within a few days it was all replaced and back to us and um, picked it up from the local post office that we're at at the minute and um, excellent customer service I think that's one of the things with uh, with dual car they'll, they'll sort you out any problems you've got and um, and yeah it's been an excellent shower what we'll do is we'll come back later on and um, I'll get this in the, in the shower tent and we'll see it in operation in the shower So here we are back with the testing of the dual car shower. In the shower now, and uh, we've got it all set up in here. Nice temperature, and uh, the only the only downside is that we have to sort of clip it over the top in the in the roof here. And uh, but dual car do a, a pull that you can put down the side of your tent on a little tripod, and uh, comes with its own shower head on the top, so it's sort of self-standing, so you can use anywhere. So um, anyway, I get back to my. Uh, Back to my nice hot shower and we'll see you again soon.